A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. Hurricane Helene made a dramatic entrance into northwestern Florida as a Category 4 hurricane, bringing with it winds of up to 140 miles per hour and a storm surge that threatened to inundate coastal areas. The storm made landfall near Perry, Florida, at approximately 11.10 p.m. on Thursday, September 26, marking it as the strongest hurricane to hit Florida's Big Bend region since records began in 1851. As Helene barreled through the southeastern U.S., it left a trail of destruction, resulting in at least six fatalities and more than three million people without power. As the storm moved inland, it quickly weakened, downgrading to a Category 1 hurricane by early Friday morning. The National Hurricane Center reported that Helene's maximum sustained winds decreased to 70 miles per hour as it crossed into Georgia, about 40 miles east of Macon and 100 miles southeast of Atlanta. Despite its weakening, the storm continued to pose significant threats, including heavy rainfall and flash flooding across the southeastern states. Forecasters had warned of a potential nightmare storm surge, predicting surges of 15 to 20 feet along the coast from Carabelle to the Suwannee River. As the storm progressed, tropical storm force winds extended more than 330 miles southeast, affecting areas as far away as North Carolina. The National Hurricane Center issued urgent warnings for catastrophic and potentially life-threatening flash floods, particularly in northern and northwestern Florida and across the southern Appalachian Mountains. In response to the looming threat, state governors across the affected regions declared states of emergency. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, and North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper all urged residents to take the necessary precautions to protect life and property. President Joe Biden approved disaster declarations for Florida, Georgia, and North Carolina, facilitating federal assistance in the recovery efforts. As the storm continued its path, emergency services were stretched thin, with reports of over 100 water rescues in Citrus County, Florida, alone. The Florida Department of Emergency Management advised residents to treat falling trees like tornado events, warning that the sounds of snapping pine trees could resemble fireworks or gunshots. In the aftermath of Helene's landfall, the damage was already visible. Streets in the Tampa Bay region were flooded, and tornado warnings were issued in multiple southern counties. The Air Force hurricane hunters had previously indicated that the storm's winds were increasing, prompting urgent preparations across the southeastern U.S. As of early Friday morning, the remnants of Hurricane Helene were moving north at 30 miles per hour, with additional weakening expected. However, the National Hurricane Center warned that the storm could still produce isolated rainfall totals of up to 20 inches, exacerbating the flooding situation. Tornado and flash flood warnings remained in effect across Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. The storm's rapid weakening did little to alleviate concerns, as local authorities remained on high alert for potential landslides and significant river flooding in the Appalachian region. The National Hurricane Center emphasized that considerable to locally catastrophic flash flooding was likely, particularly in areas that had already been saturated by previous storms. As we continue to monitor the situation, residents in the affected areas are reminded to stay informed through local news outlets and heed the advice of emergency management officials. The impact of Hurricane Helene serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of severe weather and the importance of preparedness in the face of natural disasters. In summary, Hurricane Helene's journey from a Category 4 hurricane to a tropical storm illustrates the ferocity of nature and its capacity to change rapidly. As recovery efforts begin, communities will need to come together to rebuild and support those who have been affected by this devastating storm. The lessons learned from Helene will undoubtedly shape future preparedness and response strategies as climate change continues to influence hurricane activity along the southeastern coast. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.